What is going on guys? Tyler from TopSignDesign.com here. So today we're going to look at an analyzer that I just picked up. Um, I was kind of wondering, I have the UA plugs for the 1176 and I was wondering what the difference in those are because as you can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, five versions of it. Um, and I was wondering what the harmonic structure of each was. So that's what we're going to take a look at today. So as you can see, I've done a little testing here, um, but we're going to get on to it. And I have the signal generator set up, as you can hear and see right there in the analyzer. And I have the 1176 Rev A up here on the plugins, as you can see here. So I went ahead and set the ratio at 20. That way we can see the harmonic structure. So I'm going to command click that. And this may get a little loud, but we're going to go ahead and push up the input here. As you can see there, the harmonics will start to come out. And this is just a signal generator in Pro Tools, by the way. I have it set at 500 hertz. Okay, so we're going to push it a little harder. Let's do the output. And now you can see the harmonics are starting to come up there. And we'll get a little farther. There we go. Now you can see them. And it's kind of crazy. Um, this attack time, if you have it at 1, or which is a slow attack time on a 1176, the smaller the number, the slower the attack. You can see the harmonics down there go away. Uh, up past, uh, what's that, 4500? start to get the attack on and again we're really crunching it right here bring the attack time in you can see those upper harmonics come in down there which is very interesting and being at 500 we just have 500 hertz intervals so we got 500,000, 1500, 2000, 2500, 30,000 and with the release it also goes away as you would imagine so we'll keep that at 7 Let's see and pop back in there so that's pretty cool. That is the Rev A 1176. Now let's go ahead and put it on the, uh, let's do the AE, which is Anniversary Edition. Let's go ahead and pull that guy up. Okay, let's start pushing it. Put the ratio at 20. Once again, you can see it come in there at 500 interval, at 500 hertz intervals. Sorry about the signal we have chosen here, um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I mean, the more you push it, the more you can see that these harmonics right here, these fundamental or the one and two harmonics, are pretty loud with this one. Um, push it a little harder. You can see there it goes all the way up to, I saw about 10,000. Um, so this one's definitely um, focused on the fundamental frequency a lot. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the LN Legacy. Let's go ahead and find that bus. LN Leg, there we go. Let's bring that guy up and 20 ratio, attack time and release time. Let's go ahead and push it. Okay, so I'm pushing this one pretty hard as you can see and we got to get way up there let's turn the output down a little bit let's push it all the way and now we're starting to see this is pushed all the way on the input um, so it's 
a lot more gentle on the compression than the anniversary edition. So we got, let's see here, we have 500 hertz, we have 1500, so we got, so these are a thousand hertz intervals, which is also interesting. And you have to push it a lot, lot harder to get those frequencies to come out. So there's not as, so there's not going to be as much noise with this one as you'll get with the anniversary, which is pretty cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and move on. Give you a rest from that for a second. All right, what's next? We got the Rev E this time. Let's go ahead and select that and start signal again. Okay, pull that guy up. And this is the purple face. This is a pretty popular one. Okay. Go ahead and knock that to 20. All right, we got a little more response out of this than the last one. Let's go ahead and push it, push it, push it. Okay, you can see there's a lot of higher harmonics going on there. It's pretty similar to the Rev A. There's a little less emphasis on the first and second harmonics than the anniversary edition. That one tended to be the hottest when it came to harmonics. But this one has a nice, gentle, if you push it, push it, push it. So if you really, if you really push something, you'll see those harmonics come out with this one. Um, it's kind of average, um, middle of the road in that term with these sets, along with the Rev A, I would say. All right, let's go ahead and look at our last one here. Which is the SE Legacy. Alright, let's go ahead and route this. Shut that off for a second. SE Legacy. And pop that back in. Okay, let's see what we got with this one. Crank the attack and gain, throw it to 20. Let's go ahead and crank it. Okay, so we kind of have the same sort of situation with this one. Got to crank it a lot to get our output here. And again, we have a thousand hertz breakup here. So we have 500, 1500, 25, 35, a thousand hertz each. And if we lessen the attack there, we'll see all of those harmonics go away other than the first, second, and third, which is interesting. We can crank it, crank it, crank it, and we can start to see come back at a very high attack. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So there's not a whole lot of color coming in with this one. Um, Again, this is like the other Legacy, um, split up between a thousand hertz and not a lot of harmonic content going on, but just enough to give it a little color um, if you're wanting something pretty gentle. It's like if you have, I mean, if you have a vocal in here and you're pushing it pretty hard, you're still not going to get, I mean, with a high attack, uh, say a little release, you're still not going to get a lot of harmonics going on there which is good in some cases and bad in others if you're looking for a lot of color. So we learned that the Anniversary Edition tends to give off the most frequency content or color um, from its emulation. So let's go ahead and look at that again. Go ahead and route that back to the Anniversary Edition. And look at that, you can see instantly that they're coming in. The first and second harmonics are present with not even half of the input going. So it's very, very hot with those. Um, so if you're really pushing something, you'll get some great color out of it. Or 
the color you're looking for. But I just want to do a little quick video to analyze these guys and see what it's all about. Um, we'll sample them on a single track in a future video. We'll go ahead and sample that on a real instrument and not just a signal generator. See if we can tell a difference in a video coming up pretty soon. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.